Eat delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Hi, this is Chef Pachi, and today I have an amazing breakfast for you. Full of energy, delicious, and everyone's gonna love it. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have some lentils that are made and some Greek yogurt or some tzatziki. Here we have some spinach leaves that I washed and I'm placing them directly on a pan that has been sprayed with olive oil. And then about a third of a cup of lentils. Those are cooked lentils that we're gonna see following. We add the egg and that's it. Sprinkle of salt to your egg and your spinach and then you just cook it for about a minute then cover it and allow the rest of the steam from the lentils and the spinach to finish cooking your egg. Check it out. All of that steam we're going to use so that the egg continues to cook under very low heat. Check out the flame in the bottom. It's low now. There it goes. We cover it. We only put high heat at the beginning to heat up your pan. You don't want to add the egg on a cold pan. Then you remove everything from the pan and voila, you have a beautiful breakfast. Don't forget, there's something else coming up. The tzatziki and you can use Greek yogurt. This is tzatziki from a friend that sells it and she makes her own yogurt. You can also do it with Greek yogurt as I do when I don't have tzatziki at home. Imagine that in less than three minutes you were able to prepare this wonderful breakfast filled with energy for everyone and delicious. Because remember, this Shepachi, delicious food, amazing food. Now we're gonna make some red and black lentils at the same time. And we are using our frozen vegetable hack from Shepachi. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a couple of frozen ice cubes of chopped shallots. Second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some shishito peppers or some sweet peppers to each of the pans too, one to each. Now we're gonna cut the tomato in half, half for one, half for the other, and a red bell pepper, which is a tiny bell pepper we get in Panama called aji dulce also, it's a he, not like the tiny ones, but a little bit smaller than the bell pepper, and some fresh peppercorns from a pepper pod. These are amazing. When I find them, I buy them, I refrigerate them, and sometimes I dry them. That's why they look black, because when they're fresh, they are green, beautiful. Now we're going to add two cubes of chopped cilantro, chopped with no water added, a half a teaspoon of garlic to each of our pans. This is it. It's going to be perfectly delicious. And if you want to add some more, it's fine. So here we have each of our pots with our ingredients ready to go. Now. Our lentils, I like to hydrate them first. So you're gonna see that, that I pour them in a cup and then we place them on a sieve so that we can wash them and that way they sit there for about 15 minutes in water. And once we have the water removed, we can place our lentils back in the pot. This opens up the lentils a little bit. It kind of hydrates them a little before we cook them. It increases their flavor and reduces a little bit of the cooking time. Even if we just had the lentils in water for 15 minutes, I love to use it. This is kind of like sprouting them, like giving them a little bit of life before cooking them. So here we have our black lentils and our red lentils. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna put all of our lentil mix at high heat at the beginning, only until it comes to a boil. Check it out. Here we have our mixtures, both at the same time. And once they come to a boil, we cover them and cook them until the lentils absorb all of the liquid. 
and it's going to take about 15 minutes. It might take a little longer if your lentils are not that fresh, but once the water is all dried out and evaporated, it's done. If you want to keep them open without a cover, you can cook them like that too. But remember to keep the boil just down to a simmer. That means that you don't keep cooking them on high or medium high heat. If you want to cook them uncovered, then all you have to do is bring them to a boil, turn your heat down and simmer them. And it might also take like 20 minutes. So whatever you want to do, no problem. Nothing's gonna happen to them if they cook a little more or a little less. These lentils are very strong and sturdy and it, they will be amazing. They are going to be delicious and they're not going to fall apart. Look at them. They are delicious and amazing and you're going to love them. The bell pepper and the tomato, if they have not cooked down into nothing, you can take them out, chop them and put them back in. That's it. Enjoy delicious lentils. They are super healthy full of vitamins and minerals and phytonutrients that are going to be amazing for you. Remember, with Chef Pachi, delicious food, amazing mood.